In a place where nothing changes, the greyness of travesty, washed out by a silent black and white world where emotion is left void, lives a donkey, lonely yet kind. Going insane for his search of sanity, mental anguish his only dinner, to regurgitate at his will, wishing for firmer feet in anchor, energy uplifting now, seizes the moment and goes in search of self. He sent out an echo into his psyche, who rebounded simple chatter with familiar banter. And the donkey, none the wiser, kept on moving forward, as he had momentum now. Many suns did rise and fall. A feeling of cocoonment started to grow. Aches in unrequited mysteries lament. The donkey climbed the sacred cliff tops and again pleaded with his psyche. This does not feel like the world I can relate. Am I not more than the shadow of myself? The echo returned the reverb and the same answers he's put out returned. This is most unsatisfactory, said the frustrated and slightly saddened donkey. So he went to see his friend the bull, who always told the truth. So change, said the bull. How, said the donkey. Release your mind. Chance the tide. Don't wait for concrete answers. You are already all you are to be. Break free. Why stay locked up? Go fetch the cleaver key and tear up this if you're unhappy. Reinvent. There's still time on this day. So the donkey went to his darkest place, where fear of change is said to roam. Flickering in and out of view gave this donkey an idea. I want to be real, to have three dimension, to feel and to have a definitive form. He whistled a slightly different tune, and woe and behold, he jumped out of the shadows and became. Wow, he said. That was bizarre. Am I the same person as I was before? What has changed? And what now can I do? Exciting it is. Now, am I just like you? So he sent out a whistle to test the difference. Again, it bounced on back. With a bit more colour and wool fur for now, he started venturing down a new psyche path.